Mary Brook beside the road is crystal clear like wine. And that is what we see here. A happy little brook or a happy little stream is coming down the hill. And the happy little road behind, you drive some time along and you get so excited. You wish you could stop there and fish into that. That we will put on this canvas. Okay. The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts. Wonderful afternoon, it's my, maybe about five o'clock, midsummer time, and you see that beautiful, beautiful sun beams hidden into the, hidden into the, to the bush there, and we start off with the sky first, kind of a yellowish color, white is on the canvas, remember, I always paint magic white, the canvas is wet, and and uh, now I fire in with the yellow and it mixes on the canvas and it looks like that. If you want, you can add a wee little touch of red from the top, wee little touch of red if you want to. But that's up to you now. <clears throat> Let me show you what we start here. Okay, you see kind of a sun rise going in there like this. That's fine, all right. Now, the next step will be I create four white trees and out comes a little stream there. I use that our mighty brush, <coughs> Prussian blue. I didn't even wash the brush. Prussian blue, a touch of Alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson and Prussian blue is a beautiful color. And uh, soup it down to kind of a, that's a bit too dark. I will add a bit of white into that. Maybe, maybe a bit of a, <coughs> muddy sides, so that would be nice. Can you see it, what I did there? I just measure roughly a tune like this and try it out first. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite in it already. See, the far away. <coughs> see, there you are. And put it around the way you want it. Do you have it longer, shorter? Whatever you see in that happy little brook there, or in that creek there. See, and they come forward like that. That give you already background trees, bigger one. And you see, I use the big brush and all the details. Look at the thousand details. There are all kinds of trees already standing there. Isn't that the wonderful thing to do it this way? All right. Then, do it on the other side. You can have it muddy too. Good. See, there it is. Thank the trees standing there in the fog, in the mist. and. And that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all. All right, then we come forward with a bit louder, a bit more. You see, this is like that. I make it a bit darker now, a little touch darker. See, something like this, okay? And then you create the other little darker tree in front of that here and there, see? And you can use a little bit of Van Dyke Brown into that now. You see what I did? Now you see that was the beginning and this already <coughs> a different other color. And I fire in other little tree there, but always very shadow, very shady, very, very mushy, or very foggy, misty. <coughs> Let the mist be always in between there in your mind anyway. So, 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 I will create even more mist in here, all of a sudden, here will be a bit more mist. There, yeah, yeah. create that there. See, there you are. <coughs> Prussian blue, Alizarin crimson, and a touch of Van Dyke brown. And now I go more dark. See, take a look how dark I, against this color. That was the beginning. This is this. And now I'm so dark already. And I create maybe 
a tree what you can see better now. See? See how you come out of that with a bit more power? Again, Prussian blue, Alizarin crimson, Van Dyke brown, and I fire in here a tree. You can even have a tree right here in the front all of a sudden. I don't copy now. See, that's the whole thing. I can do it the same the, the way it is there, but I just happen, I want to set my tree in there. What's wrong with that? <clears throat> See? With all of us, when we start, or well, when you start painting, you copy. You really want to do it exactly. But when you paint for a while, you want to be original. You want to have your original work, and you can only do it. <coughs> I started off by resetting a tree from there to there, and from here that tree I put on this side, and that stone from there to there. And that's when I said, oh, I have my original now. <coughs> but as long as you paint, as more you learn, you don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. You just go, you go all the way, see the land, see that land, and you create it. See, with other words, I don't want to get stuck with <coughs> copying again. But you see beautiful trees coming forwards, forwards, forwards. And I can come more forwards and more forwards. See, here I will, I will <coughs> have, this, this, is, this side is more forwards, so I create a bit of brush there, under, underground there, see? Now in the water, in the water you do the same thing. You need dark in order to show light. <coughs> if I don't have dark, I never will have light. Let's start off here. See that water? <laughs> That's the way I pay my water. Make it dark first. If you have a dark and even more dark, more dark, I use more uh, the turquoise colors there. You can fire in, <coughs> see? harmonizes nice with that yellow. See? More dark there. And dark brown, Prussian blue in between. See, then it becomes like a watercolor already. You try to make it a bit move, movements there. See? And you go right up to there. Here and there and there. And let it come in from there. And look how nice it is. Ray, 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 ray. <coughs> yeah, it was a time when I worked so hard on the painting and I got nothing. And now I laugh it off and it works fantastic for me. And it will work for you if you laugh it off. Start the painting with the giggle first. Start giggling first. And then fire in. See, and no paint. You see how short I am with my paint? I cut it down. I don't have lots of paint on here. As less paint you use, as more successful you will be. As more successful you will be. See, now you can put little tree trunks in that looks like this. See, misty tree trunks. like here too. <coughs> More or less you plow through the paint. You remove the paint there. See there, look at that. That is what makes it so really nice that you can... And if you want to make it a bit more, a bit umpa, you'd add a little bit more. Maybe here I would add a little tree trunk then. See? Maybe here, that one, I bring out a bit more. But very, very careful, not too, not too hard, not too hard, because you're over that still mist underneath there. You come now at the mist there. See? <coughs> I must say, what a beautiful way of creating, creating your paintings. <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> now we can we can add 
we can add a little bit of maybe here, just over that mist there, a little bit darker there, a bit darker there. Very, very careful. Now we get darker in here. We can go quite strong and darker here. Okay, maybe a bit higher up if you want to. Yeah, you can go higher up there. And stand back and then you see what you're doing. <coughs> now on this side, I would love to put some stones in. I will use uh, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, <coughs> and a touch of white and mix it like marble again, more blue. Maybe you should take a good look. Take a good look on that. See which way I mix it. More Prussian blue. You can see it. See, if you can sing along with me, that would be nice. See, something like this. And then you put it on and you see how, how good you are. It's still a bit too, 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 too far, I should have uh, a bit more close up, a bit more, see I add to that a little bit more Van Dyke brown and a little bit more Prussian blue <coughs> and try it again. Yeah, see, that works better. A bit more Van Dyke brown. See, yeah, it gives you kind of uh, movements there on the shoreline. <laughs> you can highlight that. You can highlight that with a touch of white, but not quite white. Like like this here, I cut a little bit of that blue and white together here and mix it something in this direction. See? And then highlight that a little bit. Look at that. There. <coughs> See? Keep it in, in the, keep it, keep it away, keep it far away. Thank you, have it there, there is, uh, is this, uh, there's fog, 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 see, that's fine, it looks far away, it looks like it is in, mist is on top of that, then I will even put more mist, I put more mist behind there, see, you are, you are the commander, you are the boss, you can do all that, see, I, I put a bit mist behind there now, if you want to. Have a nice misty day, see? And then you do that whisper, don't talk too loud. See already that's all steaming there, all steaming there. <coughs> a touch of yellow with it. See, and then you come in here, <coughs> here where the, where See, mash it in like this. Make it, make it, uh, see? Make it like steam, make it like fog, like mist. Roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. See, there you are. There you are. <coughs> and now, now if you want, you can start your mighty water there. I would say we start off with a happy little beginning. This, the light hits that and it has the same color, but maybe more drastic. The, the light hits in there and, and moves the water and it goes a step down there. See? And then you have other step there. Let it disappear. Is she or isn't she? You don't know what it is, really. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And you come forwards now, forwards into the dark, more into the dark.
You leave the dark up, leave that dark in be behind. Don't, don't go over again. <coughs> leave it there, leave it there. That's what will make you nice. <coughs> Maybe we will start here a bigger push, a bigger push. And we let that light reflect into that. See? There's a kind of a turbulent, turbulent movement there. Okay. See? Now, underneath, underneath that movement, make it a bit darker. You can use uh, Taylor Green and Persian Blue together. <coughs> See, like this, because you need a darker there. You need a darker there. See? Okay, that gives you already an up-rolling water there. <coughs> a turning water there. I will use that yellow. That yellow is very important here to reflect in there. See? <coughs> Have that in there. You can, you can fly it in the wind. You can fly it in the wind, right? See, you can fly it up there if you want to sometime. It hits some stones. If you want, you can mark stones. I didn't do it, and I'll ever avoid it here. But like I said, you're free to do whatever you see there. <coughs> and then you come forward. You can create a kind of a low coming up there, coming up there. See, it's washing around there, it's washing around there. See? And then you can go on here again. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I just follow can water movements all of a sudden. I just try to, to go along with that water swing. I always see going down, coming up, beaming over, rolling over, giving foam. And, and you see it, and you sit there, and you watch, and you watch, and you say, oh my god, what a beautiful movement. Sometimes you figure out long lines, long lines there, see, and then, then it all of a sudden collapses here, it collapses here, it builds you a little bit of uh, up there, up there, see. This is hard. The hardest thing is painting water, no matter what, because every second it has a different movement, different feeling, different going, and it has to spark, it has to be wet, it has to make you feel, uh, it has to be shiny. There's so much more for water than, can you see already, there's a kind of up there as well, up there, and, and then you can move it off again into this, on this side I would like to make it a bit more darker than here. See, then you, you apply it in a bit darker there. Watch, 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 watch. See here, apply it a bit darker. You have kind of movements there coming down. But don't destroy it now. When you go over once, uh, I can go over a couple of times and make more damage than I would do if I leave it alone. You always, always, an artist will always feel he has to touch it again in order to make it better. See, you have to touch it, you got. Why you do that? You only can ruin it. <coughs> now, when I touch it, that's different. <laughs> I do it for 40 years, I know this, I can allow myself to do it. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I know, I know. But I had a lot of classes and I know, I don't talk now, I talk to beginners now. I don't talk to artists what really paint. They know already what they're doing anyway. So I don't want to teach a guy what's good anyway. So I just try to bring new people in. <coughs> okay. See here, we've gone a shoreline long, and uh, it's kind of a foamy run out and in. See? You know, as more you play with water, as more you start liking it. In the beginning, I never want to get used to that. But uh, since I play more and I have a boat, I'm always out there on the water anyway. 
So it really, it really grows on me now. I see like this, see this patches, this water patches there. And sometimes it builds like little squares or ovals or whatever and it floats off and then it forms a new form and it, it changes constantly. The fan brush, the fan brush is such a wonderful equipment, I wish you would fall in love with that. Here you can come up again with, with whatever water movements there. <coughs> and here you can float off. Oh, I made some rivers where you have it very, a pool on the side where the water is standing still. Sometimes you create that and that's where you go fishing out of those pools. See? Leave the dock, leave the dock. Don't destroy the dock, destroy the dock, because then you're in trouble. So, 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 so. But you can easy now roll a bit up there. It makes it wet, makes that stone a bit wet there, see? make the stone a bit wet. Okay. Hey, then, then you can, you can, you, 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 you can put all kinds of things in that water now. <coughs> I would put the flow, the trees rolling off. Maybe here we will show one coming out there. Going into that water there, maybe it comes out there again. See, going underneath. There you are. See? Sometimes, if you are very sharp, you draw that little bit of a shadow underneath because that is a hole all of a sudden and it dra draws a little shadow down below. This one, we will not do too much, we just uh, let it lie there. <coughs> See? It's like a floating log, big log floating off the creek. Now I will highlight that, I will highlight that. See, use your almighty fan brush again. And let it drip down. I always have a feeling it's dripping constantly there. See? Think in that direction, then you, you can't miss. That becomes life then. <coughs> I think all we do, we have to use our, our thinking for a lot of things. Where is the light coming from? Uh, uh, what's underneath? What's behind? And then here even, you know, by thinking the water, it rolls it up a little bit. It gives you a roll up there. See, the water is rolling up like this. You understand it now, isn't that something? See, you do that, then you see it's streaming forwards, it's pushing forwards there. <coughs> So now if you want to, you can have other tree there with the uh, driftwood. Oh, you can load up for hours. Sometimes I make a whole pile of wood and the stone, the stone sticks out and the wood piles up against the stone. <coughs> it would take too long for me. So I can only talk about it and you, when you paint, you know yourself. You will put your sugar and pepper and salt into that. It, or sometimes a tree is just tumbling over. It's, it just branches, they get hooked on the bottom, the whole top goes flash. <coughs> you could paint that too. But maybe here we should put maybe just a little bit of driftwood floating there by. See? Driftwood floating there by. You're in the wilderness there. See, you can reflect it a little bit here and there. 
is not much, but then you can play with that water again. <coughs> you can play with that almighty water again. What is around the sea, you have to think, now highlight that. See, with the fan brush, how nice you can do that. And here, see, then you can run the water off. So you can run the water off even there, see? There you are. And then you can make it in the water like, uh, <coughs> see the water movements all around, see? Now, I could go on for hours and hours and show you all those kind of things, because I did lots of it, <coughs> lots of it. <coughs> but I have only so much time, and I, I wish you will get inspired, you get powerful, and you will become the greatest artist ever walked on earth. See, now we will, we will maybe just horse it up a bit here, a bit there, a bit there, a bit more mist in here, a bit more mist in there, see? Maybe a bit more mist in there, maybe a bit behind there, maybe a bit more behind there. See, and then, what a devil, finish. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye. <laughs>